Why is Lauren still shy? Hi guys, hope you all are having a nice time. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 20 review so let's go. At first we see Lawrence and Hollow sleep in a carriage together. Lawrence stirs and grabs Hollow's tail, causing her to panic. They argue about her tail during the night. The next day, they continue their journey to a new town. Lawrence tells Hollow that Diana mentioned an abbot who collects stories of pagan gods lives there. The abbot is in a secluded location, and only the priest in Terrio village knows how to find it. They are heading to Enbridge town to get directions to Terrio. Lawrence you moron, how dare you step on that precious tale of hollows. You must atone for this monstrous sin. Seriously though, it was really heartwarming to see that things are back to normal between the two of them. Next we see Lawrence and Hollow arrive in Enbridge. Lawrence plans to sell the wheat flour he bought from Mark and Kumerson. Hollow asks for sweet bread, but Lawrence initially refuses, though Hollow argues it would be a kind gesture. They visit a buyer in Enbridge, where Lawrence mentions their plan to travel to Lino's but wants to stop in Terrio first. The buyer gives them directions to Terrio. Lawrence and Hollow then leave Enbridge and follow the path the buyer recommended. With how this town got highlighted, I think we will probably come back to this place, even if it's not during this arc. Also I got the feeling that Hollow noticed something off here, but didn't bother telling Lawrence. Moving on we see Lawrence and Hollow come across a building with a water wheel, where they meet a miller who chats with Lawrence. Lawrence introduces Hollow as a nun, but the miller warns him not to bring her to Terrio due to a conflict with the Church of Inverge. Lawrence decides Hollow should change her attire, and the miller, who introduces himself as Evan, agrees they'll have a better experience in Terrio if she doesn't dress as a nun. After bidding farewell to Evan, Lawrence and Hollow discuss him, with Lawrence noting that Miller's aren't well regarded and suspecting Evan wants to leave his village. They arrive in Terrio and meet a female priest named Elsa. Lawrence asks Elsa about reaching Diandrum Abbey, where Abbot Lewis is supposed to be. Elsa tries to close the door, but Lawrence stops her and inquires about Father Franz, the former priest. Elsa says Franz passed away last summer. Afterward, Lawrence and Hollow discuss Elsa's rude behavior, with Lawrence suspecting she's lying about not having information on the Abbey. No matter what time or era you are in, it's common for people to ask for directions, and the more you try to hide it the more suspicious you become, so Elsa's action was kinda dumb, especially because she could easily tell that Lawrence is just a merchant by looking at him. Then we see Lawrence and Hollow visit a resting area where Hollow plans to rest. Meanwhile, Lawrence decides to meet the village head to inquire about the Abbey. He goes to a shop and meets Terrio's head, Sim. They move to a private area where Lawrence offers Sim wheat flour and asks about the Abbey and Franz's whereabouts. Sim claims he knows nothing about the Abbey and confirms Franz's death. Their conversation is then interrupted by someone. It's pretty obvious that the head knows the directions, but he is hiding it just like Elsa, which is making me wonder what's in there that everyone is trying to hide. Also looks like the theme of this arc is gonna be luxury goods. At the end we see Lawrence returns to Hollow and falls asleep. He wakes up hours later to find Hollow folding his clothes. Hollow hints that she expects a great dinner from Lawrence. They notice Evan running towards the Terrio church, where he hugs Elsa. Lawrence shuts the window, disrupting Hollow's observation. Hollow scolds him, saying she was studying the interaction to mimic something similar with Lawrence. Lawrence reacts oddly to her comment. Hollow then says she's hungry, and Lawrence suggests they get food. He mentions that Elsa and Sem might know more about the Abbey than they're letting on, and he plans to uncover why they're withholding information. So from the looks of things, it seems like Elsa and Evan are in a secret romantic relationship, and now that our main duo knows about it, they can use it as a bargaining chip to make Elsa talk, but I highly doubt they will do that. Also Lawrence is a loser for being shy with romantic stuff even after confessing his love. All in all, it was a nice setup episode even though nothing much happened. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos.
Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then, see ya.